Okay, so I'm going to do a simple activity with the micro bit in case you need help with it. Um, rock, paper, scissor activity is really simple that the micro bit has. So if you scroll, um, they have all kinds of different little tutorials in here. Here we go. They have version one and version two, which the second one um, really, it just adds a little sound element if you have the micro bit that has sound. If not, you can click on this right here. Um, they have a block editor. You can do some Python or JavaScript. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the block editor to keep this simple. So you're going to use the accelerometer and add the screen to build rock, paper, scissors games that um, you can make. Play with your friends. Okay, so they do have the emulator over here, and I like that they give you this little element here, this, like, they have a hint. So if you really don't understand the directions, you can. They only give you the drawers that you need. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of these two blocks because we're not going to need them. What it's telling you to do is to start your program, you have to you have to give it um, some way to start. So really, we're going to add an on shake block to run the code. So input on shake, and we're going to drag that out. And if you don't understand it, you can always check right here to see if it's correct. And I'm going to go ahead and hit next. We are going to create a variable for this. Um, so a variable is basically um, it's it's it kind of varies. It's it's usually a value, so like a timer, a score, something like that. In this case, we're going to make the variable um, like our hand when we shake the micro bit. So student, my students get confused with this because they'll literally type in set hand to instead of just hand. So we're going to hit make a variable, and I'm just going to type hand, hit OK. Yeah, and they show you here just type hand and then hit next, and we're going to drag out set hand to and then have it pick random one two three so set hand to and then math pick random and we're gonna have three options one for rock one, one for rock one for paper one for scissors so pick random one to three and that's what it should look like next and we are gonna now add a loop to this so place an if block under the pick random so that it displays, we're gonna, we want it to display um, one of the three options on our red LED light. So we're gonna go logic, if true then. And we are gonna have it and program our first option. So hand is equal to one. So we're gonna have to go to logic and do zero equals to zero because we kind you kind of have to plug and play with this code to get it to do what you want it to do. And we're gonna do hand is equal to one. Yep, and we're going to do show LEDs and make that paper. So when you click on the little emulator over here, it should eventually, whoops, I'm clicking A, click shake, it should eventually show paper. All right, next. Okay, so we did hit on shake. It works. So now we're going to add another option. So we're going to go to this little plus sign here and add another one. Hit next. And they want us to add the scissors option. So I'm going to go basic, show LEDs, and make this a pair of scissors. If I want to test it, I can hit shake, and it should show me those options. All right, next, we're gonna add one more option. So we need it to have three different options because we have it pick random one to three. We are gonna program the rock options. So we want it to say hand is equal to two. So you can go back and drag all of this out if you really want to and go through it and do hand is equal to two and pop that in there. Or you can take the shortcut and just kind of go up to this code and you'll see how it highlights it for you. I can right click and hit duplicate and it will do that for me and all I have to do is hand is equal to two. So then I can go basic, show LEDs and make this my rock. All right, so that should be it. I'm gonna hit next, they're gonna tell you to test it. So I'm gonna test it over here and hit shake. And I should, when I click that, 
get different options, okay? And you'll see, it says that because it says if hand is equal to one, okay, show that, show paper. Hand is equal to two, show LEDs. If it does anything but one or two, it's going to show scissors because that's what we have a program to do. Next, and we are going to go ahead and download this. A micro bit is plugged in. I'm going to hit download. All right, so my program is downloaded to my computer. It's not on the micro bit, so I'm gonna to go to the bottom here to my file explorer. And you're gonna see my micro bit is plugged in. I am gonna to go to downloads because we literally just downloaded the program. We didn't do anything else but put it on our computer. It's showing it right here under my device manager is another device. So I'm gonna take this .hex file and I'm gonna physically drag it to the micro bit. You are gonna see it go on to the device. Um, the only thing is once it's finished, your computer's the power supply right now. So if you unplug it from your computer, it's not gonna work. What you're gonna to have to do is plug in the battery pack for it. But that is it. That is how you simply do the rock, paper, scissors activity from um, the microbit, was it Microsoft Make Code for Microbit?